Welcome back to Super Slam Outdoors. Today, we're back on Rocky Lake. Our goal tonight, because we didn't get set up, it's just a, almost 3 p.m. now. And our goal is burbot tonight. Sam's marking fish already. Haven't dropped down anything yet. Just defrosting some minnows. I'm gonna put the drop shot back on until dark. Try and uh, catch a bass before dark. But uh, burbot is the main goal tonight. So we're gonna stay into the darkness, try and catch some burbot. That feels, that, that was, felt like walleye. You're just sitting there, slowly take it away from me. My other line. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a pike? No, it's a big bass. Ooh. Big bass. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, nice. There we go, folks. That is a big smallie. Wow. Okay, so it's smallies that are here. Nice. You mean we could have had three smallies already? This could be the third one. <laughs> nice. On the drop shot. Where's your phone? Right there. It's in my pocket. Let's measure them. He's pretty long. Oh my gosh. Holy. 17 and a quarter inch with the mouth open. 17 inch with the mouth closed. <laughs> An inch off a of master. Holy. There you go, guys. Beautiful smallmouth. One inch off a of master. And like I said in the last video, we were catching smallies. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna keep anything that is even close to this big. But that is a fatty. <laughs> we're gonna let him go. Let's see his belly. Look at the belly gut. shot. <laughs> all right, he's heavy. I got a four pounder all day. That's probably about four pounds. Off he goes. Just like that. One smallie. There's bigger ones here. We already hooked two. We've already hooked a couple. Lost but, them, but. Well, here's what we did, guys. We, um, last time we were catching them, we were just closer to the island and there was the bigger steeper drop off and i figured this time because we're planning on targeting burbots let's push out more and i don't know if maybe the smallies would have been better but i guess guess they work considering i just caught a big one and uh so basically we're right where that point kind of tapers out and just starts to get to the bottom and we we're marking kind of rocks. We can feel rocks every now and then when we're jigging. And I think it's just the perfect scenario for, for smallies out more towards the main lake, boulders near the tapering point. And as you can see, there we go. One down. <laughs> it's fighting like a bass. It's another smallie. This one's an eater. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, we found him. We found them! Let's go! Let's freaking go! We found them. Drop shot right in the corner of the mouth. Just a little guy this time. And you're coming home with me, buddy. All right, measurement 13 and three quarter inch. So, he's going to come home and be eaten. You want a drop shot, Sam? My acne's fine. It's just the bass always come along your side first. He came from your side first. No, you said You were just telling me, oh, there's a mark, oh, there's a mark. No, that was after you marked it. No? Yeah. No, it wasn't. No, it 
No, it was not. Because I wasn't marking anything. Wasn't marking anything. And you're like, oh, there, here comes a mark. Here comes a mark. Here comes well, yeah, a mark. Yeah, I wasn't even down at the bottom yet. That's why I said, I'm like, oh, come on, get down, get down. Yeah, well, he came from your side then. Yeah, but my hook wasn't down yet. Okay, well, it, he didn't come from my side. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, he bit from your side though, because he went past me, because my line wasn't in the water. Yeah, because you didn't have a hook in. Yeah, it's not my fault. It's not, no, I'm trying to say it's not because of the hook. We can't say it's because of the hook. Well, yet. no, I'm. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. If, if you want a drop shot, I can tie you one up. Okay. I'm just putting it out there now. Oh, okay. So that you don't think, oh, I just have to use my own hooks. I'm not going to use any of Dave's hooks. Okay. Like if you... And here's how I'm working that drop shot to get these bass. Just little taps. And what that all that's doing is getting that... that jackal crosstail shad to just kind of go like this like weightlessly like i was explaining in that uh video with darren from darren's northern life <clears throat> is uh that weightlessness just gives it so much life in the water it looks so edible and as you could tell by the two bass i've already caught today that uh Seems to be working pretty good. What is it? I don't know. It's like I have to hold on. I'm gonna lose it. Don't lose it. What is it, Sam? What is it? Oh, it might be a pike, actually. I don't know. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. It's a bass. Nice smallie. Might be a little big. No, not really. Let's it's see. Like the same size as the one yours was. Little one. So it'll be a two eaters and then we'll let's show the camera, Sam. It's like the same size. Pretty. He's a little scar on his gill or something right there. Just on the, yeah, it's a little white spot. Yeah. Okay, measure him here. On the Acme Hyperglide pink. Yeah, like 14 inch. Yeah, it's like the same size. Same size. Nice. Cookie cutter. All right. Okay, so we caught two that we're gonna keep and we'll release the rest. I finally get to eat a bass I caught. <laughs> <laughs> That's your so second small, or your third small mouth ever. Yeah. Nice. See, so that one's kind of bland. Like he's kind of, doesn't have that many, like doesn't his really markings. Doesn't have the markings, yeah. yeah. Like the other day they were, a lot darker. We just found the the spot, like the spot. There's another one down there. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I better get on this one here. Okay, I'll talk to the camera and fish. Um, <laughs> Sam's marking fish over there, but we got some sucker defrosting and some minnows so that we can chum them. He's gone. Is he on your screen? No. So that we can chum them for burbot after dark. Tuesday. Yeah, that's what they say. Tuesday. Oh, here's a fish. They chose that dish. I got one. Hey, here's a fish, guys. Boom. Gonna be another bass. 100%. It's another bass. It's a bass. Oh, Holy. It jumped right out. Careful. I can't grab him. Scoop him. I can't. Scoop him. Oh. Scoop him like a bear. Boom, baby! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Like, that's such weird colors to see. That's my third one today, and our fourth one total. Look at that. He just inhaled that drop shot. That one has a little bit darker, but I think so. Like hooked him right in the corner there. Beautiful. Little Rocky Lake Smalley. He's just steaming. Your hand's just steaming. You <sighs> need a drop shot. You want one? Yeah. <sighs> so cool. I'm not marking my hook. 
No. Yeah, it's they don't. It's so weightless; it doesn't mark very well, and there's no hardly any metal on it. Oh, okay. great! Has trouble marking it without the metal. Oh snap! Oh snap! There's a fish. I saw him go this up. This is heavy. This is a heavier one. Uh -oh. Is there another fish there too now? Looks like it might be a pike. Nope. It's a smallie. <laughs> Holy. We literally are hammering them today. We are on them. On them. <laughs> There's that drop shot hope barbell's hook pops right out it's another decent one that's probably 15 inch let him go oh my gosh where's my hook now? i don't like this i don't know where my hook ever is just go until you feel the bottom and then go like a foot off is what i've been doing because i can hardly mark mine so that, that's four for me now I guess when you're on the smallies, you're on them. Just have to move over a little bit. Where'd the scoop go? Oh, here. That one didn't hesitate. I as soon as soon as I marked him, basically he was on it. Well, we stayed late into the night, waiting on those burbots. They never came. Marked a couple little fish on the bottom. Could have been little burbots. We don't know. Nothing but was biting. So we're going to pack up and head home. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Small E Fishing with Super Slam Outdoors. Super Slam that like button. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And tune in next time for another awesome video.